and Elk Grove Television, Channel 6 on Facebook Live. I'm Joe Martins, and with me is Chris, who just did a whopper of a national anthem. Well, I'm going to uh, correct you right off the bat, oh. Joe. It's Mike Griffin, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll go with Chris, Griff, whatever you want to call We got the jump coming right now. Uh, I learned a lot of names this morning. All right, we're getting ready for jump ball. All right. And Looks like Purdue ball. Yep, Bradley Biecki bringing it up. Bradley looks in. He's driving to the basket. He's we got a steal. Oh, a steal. Dylan. Back the other way. <laughs> Brody's calling the play. Drives down to the baseline and got Dylan bringing the ball in. You know, watching shoot around, Dylan looks like he's got some handles on him. We'll see what he does. Nice hustle on Dylan Park. I like it. They're getting after it early, Joe. Yes. Brandon's bringing the ball back down at the top of the key. Set the screen. Nice pass There's inside. inside to nice. A nice pass by Franklin. We have a that was a nice drive by Dylan. Yep. He's bringing the ball back down, and he drives to the basket and scores. There. I'll tell you what. I've seen this kid play baseball. If he's any as good at basketball as he is baseball, he's going to have a tough time over here with Florida. I think these boys made met um, week five of the, the regular season. Ah, a little trouble. Maybe a little timid coming out. They'll settle down. Looks like AJ bringing the ball down. Drives to the basket. He takes a shot, and it's no good. Rebound, Biecki. Driving hard. Nice, nice pass, pass inside. Oh. Dylan looking up court. Throws it up and looks like it's Martin with a rebound. All right, Martin will bring the ball back in. So far they've been able to contain Bradley coming off that right side. Let's we'll see if he can go to his left. May open some stuff up. Got Ian. Back. Oh, got a steal. Looks like a uh, ah, jump ball. Christian uh, broke up the play. We'll see what Pitaknik can do here. Dylan makes a drive to the right. Back out to the top of the key. Back. Dylan, we gotta walk. Looks like Purdue setting up, drive to the right. Pass deflected, still has it. Jump ball. Dylan's got an aggressive uh, defense there. He jumps right in there. Hey, yeah, he may be short, but I'll tell you what, he's in there with the trees and he's getting the ball. <laughs> yes, he is. Okay, back to the other side of the court with Bradley, bringing it down. He's got a tough job against him. Bradley comes up. There he is. Oh, oh. man. AJ gets the rebound Florida and brings pushes. it down. Maybe coming back to Purdue as well. Uh, 
All right, Bradley's at the top of the key. All right, Franklin's up with the shot. He's nice got shot. it. That makes four for Franklin. All right, nice drive, and he loses it. Three. Dylan's aggressive. I think both teams are kind of just feeling each other out right now, seeing where they can get some open shots. Back to Dylan all the way back. Goes inside. Rebound, Purdue. Oh. Big man Alex Orlov getting in there trying to get the ball away. Biecki back up. Gets it over to Franklin. Oh, steal oh, by Perduknik. Nice drive. And He's got the shots. Yep. He's got to settle down a little bit. Oh, steal by Florida. He's got numbers. Takes it up. Oh. oh. That rim has no friends today, let me tell you. Good defense by AJ. Brings the ball up back to Dylan. Dylan pass inside. Another tough shot. Rebound Florida. Oh, we got a foul on Purdue shooting. Dylan to the line for two. Teams are getting shots. They're just not falling. There you go. Sinks his first one. Couple dribbles. Shots up and he misses. Up. Purdue bringing the ball back in. He sets the screen. Gets it over to Franklin. He's looking to shoot. Franklin's uh, the big. He's big a, move, isn't he's it? A lefty. Yeah. Dylan's bringing the ball down. Dylan does a drive. Boy, I tell you, that kid's it. got some handles. Look at that. <laughs> there he got one. I'll tell you what, if, if the mayor wants makers, they're wanted. He's got one there because he's making his own shots out here. He's high scorer at the moment for his team. And uh, you got Franklin, that looks like, with four, and Bradley with two. Dylan right behind with three. Yeah, Dylan's impressive to watch. It's all over that court. Well, and you got, he's given up at least a foot and a half, and Bradley Biecki guarding him, and he's holding his own. Yeah. Really, no problem. He is quick. Yeah, it seems both teams were a little tentative coming out. I got a feeling they're going to settle down here in the second court after the uh, coach talks to them. Yeah, for Purdue, Bradley's made some nice drives into the basket. But, uh, he's only got one to drop so far. Yeah, this rim has been uh, nobody's friend here early on. Got our fine referee crew out here. So current score is 6-3. to three. Purdue's leading. The boys line up to get ready for the second. Looks like Gabe Hunt's checking in for Dylan. It's 
Gonna start with Florida ball. AJ looks like he'll be throwing it in. Ryan will bring it up. Nice screen. Shot from the top of the key is oh. no good. It's a good shot. He was open. What these kids lack in size, they make up with their handles and their shots and their defense. Oh, nice. And they're passing. Look at this. Pass break. And we got a foul on Purdue, number 25. Looks like Franklin, that's his first. Double dribble. Oh, double dribble. Nice drive. Brody's bringing the ball down. Drives to the right. He walked it. Ball going the other way uh, with Florida taking it down. Boy, in the NBA, they let you do that, don't they? <laughs> It's not not so much here. Big man inside. Backed out to Purdue. Epstein bringing it up. Over to Sievertson. To his left. Up the no foul. Gets his own rebound. Back out to Kirchner. Shoots. Scores. Kirchner's on fire. He's got six, six of the eight points for Purdue. On the floor, fight for the ball, another jump ball. The arrow is going to, uh, arrow is going to Purdue. Brody's bringing the ball down. Working the left side, and he's up for a shot. No good. Another great drive. Stunned by the rim. Ryan bringing the ball down for Florida. To his right. In with the trees. He's up and no good. That's okay. He wants that shot. I'll tell you what. He can take that. Brody's making a drive. Down the right side. Back out to Ian. Good defense by the big man, 42. There he goes. Or went up for the shot. Martin. Will gets his hands up there. It's going to be tough for anyone to get a shot off if they're, he's in front of them. Florida down by five right at the moment. We got a shooting foul on Purdue. He'll get two shots. Ryan Hauser to the line. This kid was shooting pretty well during warm-ups. I think if he gets open, they can catch up quick. It's the first one. Second, and he's got it. Thanks for making me look right, Ryan. <laughs> all the way around. Boy, there's mismatches all the way out there, but Florida's <laughs> holding their own. Ryan with a big drive. Picks up. Get a timeout. Timeout, Florida. I can't get over the size difference over here, but I'll tell you what, these kids for Florida are doing their thing. And they're getting open shots. They're dribbling the ball well. Yeah, you got Ryan and Dylan really going to the basket. 
probably see the uh, starting point guards come back in here. Right now it's an eight to five Purdue lead. Ryan isn't only a basketball player, he likes pro soccer. He wants to be a uh, pro soccer player. So, but he's pretty good on the field too, I'm guessing forward. Yep, great on that. Florida's hanging around. Tell you what, one shot, tie it up here. AJ to do the throw in. Ryan's going to catch open here. Nope. Purdue will be bringing it down. Oh, it looks like he's still got the. See if it's in. Oh. Brody just can't get that ball to fall. No, they're having trouble with these rims. I'll tell you what, I, my kids played here this uh, this winter too as well, and these rims, they are not forgiving. Zay so puts the first one in. Rocking the new Jordans. <laughs> I think those are Jordans. I don't even know anymore. Yes, they are. Second one's good. But, uh, Looks like we got a lane violation, yeah. huh? Somebody moved early. Wave it off. 9-5, 2.30 to go. Florida with the ball. Ryan looking to drive the right side. Uh-oh. There it is. Oh, it's a three-pointer. There it is. Got it. Tell this kid's got a shot. That's Hauser with five now. Brody with the ball. He moves it over to Martin. He got a foul. foul. Foul on A.J. Glick. Reaching in. It's an easy call. Severson's got the lane every single time. He's wanted it. He likes Over that to lesson. Hussein. There he Back goes. to Severson. Oh, he gets got tripped up on some players. <laughs> Epstein inbounds. Severson looks to score. Oh. There's that rim again. Florida ball. Loose ball foul. Brody's working it. He just uh, isn't getting it to fall for him. Yeah, he'll. You got to keep shooting. Yeah, it'll go. Ryan with a three and he's short. He had a heat check there. Had to check it out. <laughs> Brody's bringing it back down. Well, he juked the kid right in front of him, but couldn't finish. Drives and he does not. Uh, he makes that one. <laughs> there we go. Well, there we go. Zabe gets it to drop. And we got an 11-8 game with 40 seconds to go. Florida bringing the ball up. Hauser looking, dribbling to his right. Got a step. Draws a foul. He'll shoot two. Hauser with five already. Just adds one more to six. He's three for three on his free throws. Not quite sure why the clock keeps running. Oh, it looks like they're just gonna. This is gonna be the last play of the half. Those of you at home, I believe they do a running clock for the first half, regardless of play. Second half, I think, is a different story. But I may be wrong. So we got 11 to 10. 
Well, I tell you what, Joe, that was uh, not a high-scoring game, but it's, it's pretty impressive if uh, either team can get some of these balls to fall. Uh, we're going to be in for a really good second half. Yeah, I, I'm really impressed with uh, Brody's drives. He just cannot get the ball to drop. No, no. I, I, I He had at least five of them bounce off the rim that should have went in. Um, and you you got to remember the the Eki and um, who was the other who's the other point guard Patachnik? They're both on the bench at the whole second quarter. Yeah. So and both of them were getting shots when they needed it. So uh, I think each team has some uh, has some plays to be had. All right. All right. Well, we're going to take a break real quick, and uh, we'll be back. For the second half. Their lights on white truck outside. Oh. All right, we're back with the second half here at uh, Elk Grove Pavilion on Elk Grove Television. We got Channel Six. Channel Facebook. Six, that's right. Facebook Live. We got Florida and Purdue for the sixth and seventh grade level house basketball league. In the uh, first half, I tell you, the, the score is not going to tell you everything that happened because these boys were out here banging around pretty good. They just couldn't get a lot of shots to fall. I got a feeling we're going to see some good things out of these kids in the second half. Yeah, we're looking at uh, Ryan Hauser right yeah. now with seven points. He had a good first half. With Franklin Kirchner playing for the Purdue team. It uh, looks like Florida's going little. No no pun intended, but they got Patuknik and Hauser in the backcourt. Looks like they're going to be uh, out there shooting. We'll see if they can feed Alex in the middle. Meanwhile, Purdue keeps Sievertson and puts Biecki out there at the same time. You got some drivers right there. This is going to be a good second half, Joe. Dylan, he's already driving the right side. Looking for help. Yep. Got Ryan coming through. He's back out to the top with Dylan. There he feeds it into the big guy, Alex. Got a loose ball. In oh, is that a loose ball foul? Must have been off the ball. Yeah. All right, let's see what Sieverton and Biecki can do. We saw Biecki drive quite a bit in the first half, just couldn't get anything to fall. Same as Sieverton. Maybe this other rim has a better. Bradley doing the drive. He's got. Looks like he got fun. Non shooting foul. Dylan's bringing the ball down. Florida. Still in quick. Oh, he had the open shot. So he's got the rebound and he gets it back out to Brody. Biecki's pushing it. He wants it all. Good shot. Uh, looks like we got a jump ball. I'm gonna go back to Purdue. Biecki to inbound. Looking for Sieverton. He's, He's got, got him. him. Severton to his left. He likes his left. Help, Alex. Uses a screen. Nice. There he is. He's got one to drop finally. We'll see if that gets him started. Dylan over to Ortloff. Looks like he might have got hit on the hand, but no, no foul. Severton's going to bring it up here. Working the left side again. Bradley oh, saves it from going out. From the free throw Top line. of the key. He's got and it. he's got it. He's feeling it now. I told you these guys would start hitting them. They're not in the championship for nothing. No. Dylan driving. Little wild shot. Rebound by Ryan. <laughs> Uh-oh, Biecki's on the run. He's got a fast break. Oh, almost oh. in one. Dylan is not happy with that call. No. It's 
sometimes you got to live to fight another day on that one. But he didn't make it, so he did his job. Bradley makes a first of two. He's got it. Second one drops. These kids are pretty good free throw shooters, I gotta say. I think we've only seen one miss. Comes open. Gabe is looking for the shot and he's well, we got it over the back. On number forty, Alex Orloff. All right, Purdue brings it up. Severson. He likes his left. Oh, we got a foul on Zane Hussein. Tripping. Tried to set a screen. Didn't get out far enough. Ryan bringing the ball out. Driving right. And takes a shot. A little wild. He's looking for a foul there, Joe. Yes, he was. He was pushing. Bradley pushing inside. Purdue starting to pull away. 19-10. About 3.30 to go. Purdue gets a rebound. Sievertson's pushing the left side. Oh. Oh. Nice grab by Dylan. 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 Dylan driving the lane. And he's got it. And nice job. They needed that one, Joe. They, yeah. they were starting to pull away. Find your man. Find your man. Aggressive play by Dylan. Well, I'll tell you what. If Florida gets back in this game, it's going to be because of their defense. So that's tough to defend. Bradley is an exceptional player in an exceptional community. Elk Grove Village. Dylan with the drive. He'll be shooting. Brody was one that picked up that foul, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was. I think that's his first. Oh. Rare miss. All right, watching some second. lane violations here. Is it, you guys like to get in quick. Bradley bringing the ball down. Out to Brody. Two-man game right now. Bradley and Severton. Feeds it into Bradley. Top of the key. Severton stops, turns, shoots. And Hit every no. <laughs> piece of the rim <laughs> in the gym. Dylan's going to push it. Goes he for the foul. Draws a foul. There you go. He was looking for that one. It reminds me of a baseball player going after the second baseman. <laughs> <laughs> every time. This is how the kids are going to get back into this. Florida needs to drive the ball. Draw the foul. Use your free throw shooting. A little off on that first one. A little bit. A little bit. Might be time for a timeout. Got about a minute 40 left in the third quarter. Gets the second one. 21-14. Excuse me, 21-13. Florida up. Or Purdue up. Brody driving the right side. Can not get it to go, though. Jump ball. Oh, we got some glasses on the floor. It's getting rough down there, Joe. Yes, sir. About a foot difference between the two competitors. Yeah. <laughs> now you wouldn't tell it by their play. No. Dylan bringing the ball down and looking for the big Into guy. Into the big man. Not get it to go. I'll tell you what, though, that's the play right there. Yep. I'm almost positive that's what coach told him. Get it into 40. Let him do his thing. He'll find his swing. 
All right, we've got, uh, let's think it'll have Bradley shooting two. Minute six left in the third quarter. He hits it. That makes it 22-13 with a minute go left in the third quarter. Up by nine with another one to shoot. They're really going to have to clamp down in the fourth quarter. Tell you what, Bradley doesn't even know what the rim is on those free throws. Nope. It's swish all day. Nice drive by Dylan. Ah. Just start getting it going. Bradley gets the rebound and stole Great quickly steal. by Great steal. Dylan. Good defense on Bradley. Just stood his ground, didn't move, didn't go for the fake. He needs help though, he's got... Run out of time. He's got Dylan. Yeah, the traveling. That's all effort right there, Joe. Ryan and Dylan are out there banging right now. Oh. Oh. Heads up play by Bradley. Threw the ball off him out of bounds. Brody back to Bradley. Bradley with the drive. Somebody's got to step up. Tell you what, that Dylan, he is right in there at, at Bradley's uh, ankles when it comes to those yeah. drives. He does Bradley give doesn't up. have much room, but I'll tell you what, though, when he gets moving, he is hard to stop. Those long legs, long arms. Drops the first one. No wonder LeBron James is his favorite player. <laughs> that was the first miss by Bradley, wasn't it? Zane with the shot. Rebound Florida. Got 22 seconds here. Might try to feed. No. Nope. Dylan with a drive down the and center, and he got it. That away, Dylan. They're clamping down. They're doing some full court. Brody's going for the drive there. Rebound Zane. It's going to be a jump ball. Florida ball with six seconds to go. Full court pressure here. Dylan. You're going to see a long shot. Don't foul. From the free throw line. Oh, good try. Well, that ends the third quarter. Frustrated Florida team right now. Yeah, they got some shots that aren't falling. Purdue's up 24 to 15 with a quarter to go. Like I said, if they're going to come back in this game, it's going to be because of their defense. But I do think, Joe, they can get that big man, 40, Will Ortloff, or excuse me, Alex Ortloff, they can get him anytime he wants him. He's got a mismatch down there. Yeah. I think they try to go to him early and see if you can get him going. A lot of fast breaks been uh, lost to uh, just to roll off the rim. Dylan, Dylan approximately with an eight, unofficial. Eight points for Dylan. Well, that makes sense. His favorite player is Russell Westbrook. <laughs> you know he likes to play. Triple-double machine. Dylan, a Stevenson student, along with his classmates Christian Heishman and Ian Epstein, along with Dominic Ka Kowalik and Bradley Biecki. So you got classmates playing against each other. That's how it works here in Elk Grove. Bradley's Dude. been impressive on the line. Has he missed? A one that I counted, unless I could be told different, but uh, yeah. He, He's been fighting in the center of that hoop every time. There must have been something wrong with the ball at that point. <laughs> All right, Brody. Severson to his right. Oh, almost gets yeah. in one. Uh, Dylan uh, takes the foul again. 
showed some frustration on that one. Well, it's not the worst thing in the world to foul him as long as he misses. It's working so far. They need time, but this running clock is not helping them. And this is both. Zane getting in there for the rebound. Among Ortloff and Philby. He's got you two big men, you two little men. Florida down by nine right now. We got a three pointer. Uh -oh. Downtown. Heating up. Ryan Hauser. They're going to need some more of those. Severson to his left. Dylan with the steal. He's going to push it, Joe. There he gets the foul. And oh, oh. almost and one. He knows how to work it. Well, we got a six point game here with six minutes left. Dylan at the line. He can cut it to four. First shot's up. And it's good. good. We got a timeout for Purdue. Is that the second three pointer, I think, for uh, Ryan, if I remember? I think you're right, yeah. He's got a stroke, I'll tell you what. I tell you what, yeah, he's got a foot and a half still off of the three point line. <laughs> he's throwing it a long way. Yeah, Dylan and Ryan are really pushing hard, making it happen for Florida. Well, I'll tell you what, for Purdue, Zade's getting in there with some rebounds. I've, I've noticed him. He seems to be where the ball is, and that's a good thing. Yeah, that's like Khalil Mack. He's uh, idolizing, it looks like. He's a, he's a ball hog, too, isn't he? <laughs> it's great to see. Well, all these kids want to be uh, want to be sports players, except for Zade. He, he wants to be an author. I like that. We do have Marty <laughs> Edelman <laughs> throwing out a, a wild one there. I buried the lead, but he wants to be a factory rope maker. I like it. Thinking outside the box. That's right. All right, Dylan. You go Second the shot. A little short. Off the front of the rim. Brody with rebound. He looks for Bradley. He feeds it back out. Bradley in deep. Yeah, you can't. Nothing you can do on that, Joe. Nope. Kid's too big, too strong, too fast. If I'm not mistaken, his mother played college ball. Oh, yeah. Very well. Long two. Dylan. I don't know. It's 7 o'clock. I think the bank's still open. What do you think, <laughs> huh? My goodness. That's keeping them in there. Purdue up by five. Five minutes to go. Bradley up for the shot. Bradley's got having it. none of it. Dylan. Dylan looking to shoot. Into the big man. Get it in there. Ah, he, uh, he had it. Brody bringing the ball down, looking at the left side. They're going to have to start doubling these guys. Zade with the shot. Rebounds his own. Looks like he's going to shoot two. Who do you think is his favorite author, Joe? See? It's a tough one. A Khalil Mack fan who wants to be an author. Right? Maybe, he's a, maybe it's a sports writer. You never know. Les Grabstein. 
Could be, could be the grabber. Could be the grabber. I don't know if he's up during his show, but. All right. Oh, we got a long two attempt. Brody, we ball at uh, working to the top of the key. Gets it down to Bradley. Bradley. Doesn't get it to go. Zade, Zade with, with another rebound. He's getting in there. We got 3.36 to go. Purdue up 29-21. Every time they cut it close, Bradley gets down there and puts it back. Six, seven, eight, nine point lead. I don't know. I think they're going to have to start doubling these guys. May not matter. I'll tell you what, Purdue's been uh, letting uh, Ryan Hauser have some room on the three-point line. Yeah. They, it looks like they're giving him those outside shots. I'd still like to see Alex get a couple inside. I think he's primed to hit at least one or two of these quick ones. But you're running out of time here. Three pointers are what you're probably going to need at this point. Kirchner checks back in. Purdue going with their starters. Well, back. Well, back. Brody at the top. The key gets it down to deep Zane. in there. Looks like Bradley will be shooting. Bradley back at the rim. A rare miss for Bradley. Ah, the rim was moving. I seen it. <laughs> There, he takes a second. Tried to do it again, wouldn't let him. Dylan bring the ball down quickly. Dylan's going to look for a shot here, quick. And he's looking for the foul. And he got one. That is a la Wessel, Russell Westbrook right there, huh? <laughs> Drive that shoulder, get the foul, get to the line. Stop the clock. This is what they needed. They're down by nine. I apologize, it looks like the clock runs. Don't miss on the first one. Have I mentioned our great referee crew out here? <laughs> and the second of you yes. Loose ball, gets out of bounds. Alex put a hand on it. Do it. Do it. Brody going for the drive. He's at the double up. Goes back out to um, Franklin, and he's got it. Kershner, that's eight, right? Yep, that's what I have. Zade picks up the foul on that one. Dylan back at the line. Let's see if Dylan can make up for these two misses early on. Florida's starting to press. They know there's not much time left. Down by 11, minute 40 to go. Dylan uh, there he goes. smokes the first one. We got a timeout. A minute 40 to go. Purdue leads 32 22. Coach has got his work cut out for him on the Florida sideline. What do you think they need to do, Joe? I'm saying uh, keep that ball out three point line. 
Yeah. With those uh, Dylan and uh, Ryan. Ryan was a dead eye from the three point line. He's got a spot out there with his name on it. You know, something we used to do back back in junior high, we'd bring the big kid, big guys out deep. We'd hide behind them and we'd shoot. Maybe they can get Orloff and Philby out there. They hide behind them and start shooting the ball. Because with Bradley and Sievertson playing defense as well as they are, Kirchner as well, and Zade, it's going to be tough to get anything inside. This is the second. Bradley the rebound pushing hard. Man, he just looks like a ball player. Brian Brody on the top. Get it back to Franklin. And this guy's got the big easy, I like to call him. He's, <laughs> he's got a, the quietest eight points. Yep. Shooting, shooting percentage for that kid right now is pretty good, I think. Absolutely. Looks like Will. Will, Phil Will to the line. Nice black shoes, Air Jordans. A little short on the first. Oh, they must have been shooting a technical, Joe. <laughs> Full court pressure on uh, Purdue right now. Looks like it worked. Down by 10, minute 18. Going to need a three ball here. Full court on the other side, too. Ryan gets it over to him. Ah, wild shot. Ryan is back at the top of the key. Back up to Dylan. Wow, Bradley's quick. Nice. Wow, tough shot. A.J. Glick with the runner to the right side. Keeping a minute. Another rebound. Dylan coming back. He's looking for a three ball. No, he's driving, looking for that foul. We got to jump, jump off. off. Florida ball. We got an eight point game, 40 seconds left. Timeout, Florida. Dylan trying to, trying to get that foul. I'd like to see a drive and kick on one of these back out to Ryan or AJ. It looks like they, uh, they got a stroke right now. It's gonna be tough to get that ball up and over Bradley who's covering them. Seconds left to play. We got a little Rob Bass, DJ Easy Rock in the background. Joe, I don't know if you've partaken in any Rob Bass recently. <laughs> One of my favorite. I'm trying to figure out if, uh, if my favorite is country or western. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, glad you keep an open mind, Joe. <laughs> 40.4 seconds to go. Purdue up 32-24. Florida ball. We got Dylan inbounding. I think I'll be looking for Alex here if we can get him. I think he's just got to put his hands up, Joe. He's got he, the height. I don't think anybody's going to jump in. They're going. No, AJ's feeling it. Ooh. Comes up short with a three-pointer. Oh, Philby with the rebound. Trying it again. Skips off the rim and almost gets his own rebound on the opposite side of the court. Wow. That's a hustle. That's a hustle play. That's that's what you want to do, kids. Follow your shot every single time. You'll hear your coach say it. We got full court pressure here. Going down to Bradley. 
Bradley looks like a tight end going over the middle. Soldier Field. Oh, back. Dylan. Who's it? Uh, Dylan. No, it was. Uh, pulls it back. Bradley back on him. Steps in. 16 seconds left. Brody with the ball, but they're looking to give him a hard time. We got 10.6 left. Looks like uh, Purdue's going to pull this one out. But I'll tell you what, this Florida team is good. These kids played very, very hard. They just couldn't get the ball to drop for over the first half. Well, and they're giving up, on average, they got to be giving up seven to eight inches across the board. I mean, they got two big guys down there, but that's it. It's aggressive players. But I see why they're both in the championship game. Dylan bring the ball back Dylan up. pulling down with six three seconds pointers. left. He's going to shoot. Oh. oh, he's going to get three shots, though. <laughs> Waiting for the call. Looks like we're going to have a substitution. Dominic coming in. Dominic also from Stevenson. Big LeBron James fan. Sporting the Jordans, though, so <laughs> go figure. <laughs> that tells you who's better, right? <laughs> that answers it. We've got a lane violation call. Well, you don't want to give Dylan an extra shot because he typically makes those. And he missed. Did they give him a three uh, a three ball there? I think they did. Yeah. So he's gonna get should get one more. He had a lane violation on the first one. Okay. Five seconds left. Yep. He crossed the line yeah, before the ball got there. Dylan was trying to get in there a little early. Oh, these kids are playing hard to the end. And that looks like it's going to do it. Brody's going to hold out of the ball. That'll do it. Well, color me impressed. I thought both teams played excellent. I think the combination of Brody and uh, and Biecki just was too much. Height difference. For Florida. You had the height, the athleticism. Too much. Give it up for Florida. They yeah, played well. A lot of heart. Well, Joe, I appreciate it. This was fun, huh? Yeah. I wish I could do this again. <laughs> it was a pleasure, sir. Yeah, thank you. Nice job on the national anthem. Oh, thank you. Well, that'll do it for the 6th, uh, 7th grade level championship game. Purdue taking it. Purdue with the win, 32-24. Well played game by uh, Florida. They did a nice job. A lot of heart. Frustration out of Dylan. All right. Well, um, I'm Mike Griffin. and I'm Joe Martins. And uh, for Elk Grove TV and Facebook Live, thank you very much, everybody. Have a great evening.